Hey, it's Phil from Euroheat, and really often we're asked whether we can combine the tap hot water for the building with the hydronic system. And the answer is yes, you can. Now, today we're down in Dunsborough, and just a few months ago we were here, a house just on the beachfront, not too far from here, where there was a hydronic system combined with a tap hot water system installed by another contractor but there were some issues with the system. So we were asked by the builder and the architect to come and have a look and give our opinion on what the problem was. So when we came and had a look at the system, the hydronic system was working sort of okay. The main issue was that it was still costing a lot of money to run the combined hydronic and tap hot water system, even in summer when the hydronic system wasn't really on at all. So after we did some measurements and calculations and we investigated how the system had been designed and installed, we found out one huge error that basically couldn't be fixed. And that one huge error was that there was a ring main around the house distributing hot water to all the taps. And that ring main was on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And it was sending hot water out at 50 degrees but the water was coming back, even when there was no taps on, was coming back to the hot water tank at 40 degrees. So that means that we're, there was a 10 degree temperature difference between the flow water and the return water. The owner of the house was experiencing bills in summer just for the hot water in excess of $700 a month. And that was because of the way the system was designed. Basically a heat pump was preheating the water and then an electric element was topping up the water uh, by about 15 degrees and when it was losing the 10 degrees over the ring main the electric element was just continually topping that up 24 hours a day and when we looked into where that 10 degrees was going we established that the ring main the pipe with the hot water that was going around to all the taps in the house hadn't been insulated there were, there were parts of a little bits of insulation here and there basically where you could see the pipes but then when we had the uh, thermal imaging camera, we could see that there was definitely no insulation through the concrete, through walls, through different building elements. So all of this, all of these building elements were just sucking out this hot water or the heat from the hot water and costing the owner of the house around $700 a month during summer. Unfortunately, there wasn't too much we could help with unless you wanted to replumb the whole hot water piping in the house, which was a bit difficult in this beautiful beachfront house. So we ended up putting the hot water pump on a timer and we suggested uh, basically generating the heat for the hot water in a really efficient way so that the bills would come down significantly for the owner. But if you want to make sure you avoid this same problem, and it doesn't matter whether you're using gas, electric, heat pump, any type of hot water system, you want to make sure that whoever's installing the hot water piping for your house insulates it well, that there's no gaps in the insulation, and specifically that there is no bare pipes touching concrete or encased in concrete or exposed in walls, touching brickwork, anything like that, because that will just cost you so much money. So if you'd like some help in designing and installing a really efficient way of generating hot water for your building in conjunction with your hydronic system or your building services, give us a call. We can have a quick 15 minute chat about what you'd like to do and perhaps we can talk about what's best for your building.